Paying for TV to a cable company, satellite company, phone company in a traditional pay TV package is so yesterday. In fact, after years of all this talk about people cutting the cord, the reality is now that talk is actually happening. As you look at an average pay TV bill of over $100 a month, you can instead go with streaming services that typically will run you from a base of $20 a month for a really bare bones streaming package to typically more common $40 a month. So 40 beats 100 any day of the week, but you know what's great about the streaming products? They're portable. You can watch them on your home TV, you can watch them on your laptop, your phone, your tablet. You can watch them anywhere you are. Sounds like a Dr. Seuss book, doesn't it? So the idea is that instead of you being married to your own sofa and your TV is the place you get your pay TV, it goes wherever you go. Plus, you can share it with multiple family members. My favorite of all the streaming products is YouTube.tv. It's 40 bucks a month now, it used to be 35. It's a pretty wide array of television programming, but what's really neat is multiple people can be watching different things at the same time, and everybody has an unlimited DVR, where whatever you want to record is available to you in the cloud, and then you can watch it on your schedule, your pleasure, wherever, whenever. So think about this, you go from 100 a month to about 40, but beware of mission creep. You know what I mean by that? You sign up for one of these streaming things and you think, well, I think I want to add this and I think I'm going to get that and I think I want that CBS stream and I want this other one and on like that. Before you know it, you could take your maybe 40 a month up to 60 or 70 and you really slice your savings. So really think through what it is you watch most often and be careful with the spending. You're still going to have to pay separately for Netflix. You have Amazon Prime, you get their stream. So that'll add another, well, you think of Netflix, base of 10 or 12 a month, which you're still going to save serious money. Think about 600 or so dollars a year back in your pocket. On Clark.com, we have a guide to the pluses and minuses of the various streaming products, and you can see which programming and which service best matches up with what you enjoy.